Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change the system-wide font in Windows. So this is the default font that Windows uses for everything. So if you don't like the generic font that it has by default, you could change that. So what you need to do first is go to your fonts and pick a new font. So we'll click on Start, Settings, Personalization, Fonts, and now I just kind of pick a font from here that you want to use. Let's do something kind of drastic, like uh, let's do impact here. Okay, now I have this text file here. And what you need to do is change this new font to the name of the font you want to use. And then you got to save it as a registry file. So if you do a save as, and let's go to desktop here. Let's call this. newfont.reg. All you have to do is put .reg at the end. Whatever else you want to name it is fine. And then it'll make a registry file right here. So we just double click that. Say yes to import into the registry. So now we just need to reboot and see what happens. Okay, let's log in and see what we get. All right, you could already see that the uh, fonts have changed here. Obviously, this is a drastic one, so it's not the best choice. So everything's bold here. If we go to File Explorer, same type of thing. Everything's nice and bold and doesn't change it for everything, obviously, but, you know, all your text here that are used for your icons and files will all be uh, changed. So if you don't like that or if you want to put it back, well, first of all, if you want to do something different, you could do that same process again and then just use a different font name. But if you uh, want to change it back, you could use this one here and just put this, make a registry file out of this. So let's try that real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and reboot again and see if we have things back to normal. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, so everything's back to normal. So I'll put the uh, text from both these uh, registry files in the description so you could just copy and paste and try it out for yourself and, you know, change your font and see if you like it. And, you know, it's trial and error. If you keep trying different fonts all you like. And then if you don't like it, just use the one registry file to change it back to the default. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.